Hi, Mike here from Clearview Mirrors again. Today we're going to do a fitting on a uh, SR5 Hilux uh, current model. And uh, I'll start off uh, by telling you to drop your driver's side window down first. Just makes it easier if you're doing it on your own. And these are the tools you're going to need. Number two, Phillips head screwdriver. A flat screwdriver. A 10mm socket. For the 10mm socket, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a rattle gun. Okay, just a light one. Okay, uh, let's go and do it. Okay, we're going to start by, uh, we've got to take our trim off. So all you need to do is get your fingers in behind here and pull that back out like that. There's only the one popper in here and it lines up with these, these two little plastic locators here and that one there. Okay, there's three bolts in behind here and you can actually get to them without taking a trim off but we need to be able to get the electrical wiring out. So we've got two screws, we've got one in here behind the door handle it's a Phillips head. We've got one down there in the door handle and we've actually got a little reversible clip here that comes out like so. So we'll whiz these other two out here and these drills you can pull the whole thing out. Okay, pop your screws in there for safekeeping. And the rest of it's pretty easy. Just get your flat screwdriver underneath the bottom of the door panel. Right, and pop her out like that. Pretty simple. Lift your door panel off there. And then we've got our connector down here. Now, as you can see, we've already fitted our clear view on here, mirrors on here, but the procedure's the same if you're just taking the normal mirror off. Right, we'll un unplug the wiring, okay, and um, this one has indicators in it, so you'll see that the indicator has um, an extra plug on here and it all comes down into Toyota's plug down here. We supply all this with the mirror. So what we'll do now is I'll change this over and undo the mirror. top one, make sure you've got somebody holding onto this for you out here. Okay, and the mirror comes straight off. For reinstallation, you just reverse the process, like so. Hold onto the mirror base here on the door so that the mirror can't drop away on you. Make sure you've got your gun around the right way. A good idea to tighten it up with a, a hand ratchet just to make sure that it's up nice and tight afterwards. This um, DeWalt gun that I've got is, is set at the right pressure so it's, it's pretty good. Just plug your adapter in there and push your loose wire and everything back down there. Sit your door panel back on like so, making sure that the wire here is out of the way and it's not restricting your uh, panel from going back on. Right, make sure you're sitting in down there. Right, line it up. Give it a love tap. And it's all good. Now all you need to do is get your connector and push that back into there. Okay, with these little... Uh, connectors when they're locked in they're in that position where they're flush to undo them you've got to pop that back like that when you're taking them out and to fit them you've got to reverse that back out and hold on to that when you put it into the position push it in like that 
and then just lock it back in and it'll lock up nice and neat. Okay, we just put our two screws back in now and pop our panel back on. Right, and um, we're, uh, we're pretty much uh, done with this. You just need to make sure that when you, um, before you put your door trim on, I should have checked the, um, the actual should have checked the actual mirror uh, to make sure that the electrics and everything were working right so if you have a look up there that's the out and that's in up down and uh, of course we're looking for an indicator as well so we've just got one screw left to go in the door Nip that back up, pop your cover on here, make sure you get your locators sat correctly and give that a thump on there and uh, now you're ready to take your caravan. Hook your uh, van up, slide your mirrors out and away you go. Thanks.